Be me, age 19, out of high school for a year, working a grimy cleaning job, getting paid peanuts. No contact with friends for months at a time. I was lonely and miserable, but I wanted to change. I wanted to be someone who could go out with old friends again and go make some new ones. I wanted to be an artist, working for myself, doing what I loved instead of breaking my back and breathing in bleach to make my already rich boss even more money. So I picked up a pencil. At first, I sucked at it. Actually, not just at first. For a long time, I really sucked at it. I didn't draw as a kid, so I was coming in completely brand new. Most artists seem to start at least in high school, but me, I was way too busy cutting down trees and beating up goblins in RuneScape, baby. This is where I started. Some not so humble beginnings. Picking up a pencil for the first time was rough. I really wanted to draw, but I'd just sit there and like... Like, more than anything, it's what I wanted to do, but I just couldn't move my arm across the page. I think because I started late and felt like I should have started ages ago, I felt all this pressure on me to be great at it before I'd even begun, that I had so much ground I needed to cover just to reach the starting line, to catch up to the artists I saw online, or to my friends who were all well into their university degrees and knew what careers they wanted and exactly how they were going to get there. It's only with hindsight that I can see they were all really just as lost as I was. They actually didn't know what they were doing any more than I did, but it sure felt that way in my 19 year old brain. The pressure was really piling on. The first few steps are almost always the hardest when you're trying to make a change in your life. Learning to draw for me wasn't about making lines on a page so much as it was about the promise of a better life. I wanted to go outside more, to meet new people, and that just wasn't who I was. Drawing gave me a reason to challenge that. At the time, just leaving my room would bring a huge amount of anxiety with it. Going out to meet up with friends? Alright, sure, but let me spend the next five hours in the bathroom feeling sick and hyping myself up to it first. Wanna join voice chat in some new Discord server? Not before you first do a hundred sit-ups and a hundred squats to try and quash that pit of anxiety swelling in your gut. Before, without a reason to challenge myself to improve, it just didn't happen. I couldn't do it as much as I wanted to. But when I picked up drawing, it gave me a reason to try. Even though the experience was going to suck, if I wanted to one day go out into the world and make new friends, artist friends, it meant that 19 year old me was going to have to step into the ring and take on that anxiety. To do future me a favour so that we could both be happy but I didn't realize how long it would take. 2019 rolls around and I'm 21 years old. I thought that when I finally put an effort to make a change that things would start to turn around, that within a year or two, I'd have this stuff more or less figured out. I mean, my anxiety problem started at around age 15. You'd think that six years in, I'd have figured this stuff out, right? Surely in the next couple of years, all those puzzle pieces would finally click into place. They did not. Undeniably, I was in a better place than ever before, but the frustration was building so rapidly. Why does this come so much easier for everybody else? What am I doing wrong? It can't just be that I'm broken, something else has to change, right? Look, I had a big ego, sure, but not big enough to think that I was inherently different to everybody else and therefore destined to live a miserable life. So, I quit. I finally left that grimy cleaning job. If things weren't working, it was time for a bigger change. The next six months, I lived off of savings and worked damn hard every day to get better at art and figure out this crap cluttering up my brain. It was still painfully slow progress, but at least it was on my terms now. Eventually, I realized if I want to make artist friends, but I still can't go outside without profusely sweating and mild panic, that's gonna be a problem. So to force myself to tackle this more directly, I found work in everybody's favorite industry, retail, which was gonna suck hard, but much less than that cleaning job at least. <laughs> I don't think many people like retail. The best that I can say about it is that it's low stakes. You go home at the end of the day and nothing that happened there matters anymore. That's much harder when you're like a surgeon or a firefighter. 
Going into retail, I had one goal, get over my social anxiety. It had been the biggest hurdle of my life and I was beyond sick of it. Working there, I met some of the kindest and most interesting people I have ever known and also some of the absolute worst people I have ever had the displeasure of interacting with. So if you're out there, I hope the misery you've inflicted on others is biting you in the backside today. Anyway, it took a while, but after almost four years of working there, the lesson was finally starting to sink in. Other people are just people. Some of them are really cool and some of them, uh, not so much. The ones you vibe with, there's no sense in stressing over what they think because they probably like you well enough anyway, and the ones that don't, honestly you probably don't care much for their opinion in the first place, right? So why stress? Again, I'm a slow learner, it's taken me years to figure this relatively simple stuff out, but at least now, coming out the other side, I can start building the life that 19 year old me dreamed of, even if it took a little longer to get here than I'd hoped. So 2024. Four, new year, same old me. Goodbye retail, this time forever. It's time I finally made a life for myself as an artist. It's time I went out into the world and met some new people. It's time to finally slot all those puzzle pieces into place, for real for real this time. Totally not gonna look back a year from now and roll my eyes. So here's to the future. And I wouldn't be here if I didn't start drawing.